There's another narrative out there that you should certainly be aware of when it comes to the banking uh, collapse of last week, the bank that collapsed, SVB, a couple of banks actually, Signature as well. Uh, there, there's the reality, the economic reality of a government that spends recklessly and then debases the currency through inflation and then we all pay for it anyway. There's that. Or there's the Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren, she's out there. She has some ideas here that uh, Congress is actually responsible for this because it is Congress, and I'm sure Trump too. It's oh, everything now is Trump's fault because you know he was a Republican and he was president. Here she is, uh, play six. What we have is a problem that starts with Congress by opening the door to weaker regulations, then goes to the regulators that very much weakened those regulations, and then to the executives who thought that you could run a bank like any other business and that they could load up on risk in order to improve profitability for the shareholders and boost their own salaries and bonuses. We have to shut that down. Shutting that down starts with Congress tightening up regulations to begin with. Elizabeth Warren is always going to say it's a problem of regulation because she wants to be the one who sets the rules. She and Democrats like her want to be in charge. The real problem here is the government spends too much money. The problem is that the people in charge, meaning Congress and the White House, think that they can spend whatever they want to spend and There's no real downside because no matter what happens to the economy, no matter what happens to your life savings, they're still in charge. And that is all that matters. They are bribing the public with the public's money. And hoping you don't figure it out. That is the fundamental problem. It's not that there's some Dodd-Frank regulation that, you know, on page seven, subparagraph three, that didn't. It's just nonsense. 